Hey guys, so I did a review of this Black Max chainsaw a while back, and I was generally favorable to it. But since then, I've been running it a lot more, and I found a major problem with it. Stick around, and I'll show you how to fix it as well. All right, so when I did the review, I did approximately 10 to 15 decent size cuts, and I had no real issues with it. Since that point though, I've used it a lot more uh, for cutting a lot more logs. One of my buddies has some trees he took down on his property and he's been trying to get those cut up and gotten rid of. So I've been working on that and then also milling some wood. And I've discovered a major issue with this chainsaw. And that from some research online and from what I'm seeing here appears to be that the chain break is too tight from the factory. So the chain break uh, is fine when it's cold. And for your average consumer, they're gonna run this, say for storm cleanup, they'll do eight to 10 cuts and that's all they'll need it for. They actually won't end up finding an issue with this chainsaw. But if you're running it more than that, you're gonna eventually find out that once it gets hot, uh, there's expansion in there and that causes the little bit of clearance that the chain brake has to become even less and the chain brake starts catching on the pulley there. You'll find that uh, once it's hot and you can get it running but then when you try to go use it and pull the trigger this will bog and it'll hesitate and either it'll eventually overcome it or it'll just stall out. And I've had it sometimes where it was just constantly stalling out and I, I, could, I could get it started, but I couldn't really use it at that point. So I had to switch to a different chainsaw. This is a major issue if someone intends to use this more than just a few cuts every once in a while. I have found a potential fix for this though. So first I'm gonna take this cover off here. Okay, so you'll see uh, any chainsaw you use is gonna end up gunked up in here. And the inside of the chain brake is gonna end up gunked up as well. I have been able to fix the issue or at least make it better by cleaning out this area uh, because unfortunately the chain brake here is so tight that it doesn't have a lot of room for any sort of gunk reducing that the clearance. And so this is really an issue with the chainsaw because this is gonna happen regardless of your chainsaw. And you can see here this worn area right here from when it's catching too much. I haven't used the chain brake at all but this area, you can just see the burnt in the steel where it's catching too much. And in case you're wondering how the chain brake works, basically, if this thing were to engage, you, this thing suddenly gets tighter and tightens around the pulley so it stops the chainsaw from spinning. So it, it engages and gets tighter and it doesn't get a lot tighter but that's the whole point is this thing doesn't need to lose a lot of clearance to really tighten up on on the pulley there you can reduce the pressure on the spring by engaging the chain brake there all right so there's that okay and you can see here a stiff spring basically uh Oh, there you go. So one of the solutions is that you can reduce the length of this chain brake spring, just cutting a little bit of it off so that there's not as much tension on the chain brake. And that way, because this is a very, very stiff spring, it's difficult to get it back in there. And it may be causing an issue if that spring is too stiff. So let's see, I'm gonna take this off about here. There we go. So I took off about this much of the spring. Not only will this potentially fix the issue, but it'll be a lot easier to seat this spring.
There we go. See? Still works. It's just reducing the tension. So this is a lot easier to work than it was before. Before I really had to pull. All right, so I'm gonna go test it now and we'll see if I run into the issue again. I'm actually gonna do, probably test it a couple days. Hey guys, so I'm finishing up this video a lot later than I had planned to. Uh, life changes and I moved halfway across the country. Anyways, uh, since I shot this video initially, I've run the chainsaw several times after that fix and I haven't once had it stall out on me since I shortened the, the chain brake spring. And you can see here I'm cutting a bunch of fresh white oak and I cut it all up for firewood and this was just the other day and it didn't stall out. I've done more milling, I've done all sorts of stuff. It seems to have totally fixed the issue. I really don't think it should be an issue because this is actually, from what I've read, a common deal for this price range of chainsaw. I don't, I don't know why brands can't you know, just fix the spring issue because then we wouldn't be having this thing. You can't tell me they don't know it's a it's problem. Um, but there you have it. It's a big flaw, but it's easily fixable. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go down below and hit a thumbs up.